Hello everyone, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm Arif, your cloud learning journey partner. In today's video, I'm going to share with you five secrets that I wish I knew when I started my career 99 years ago. Maybe you have finished your graduation and you are planning to start your career in IT or you are in different career path and you want to transition to IT career. If that's the case, this video is definitely for you. In today's video, I'm going to share with you like five secrets that gonna boost your id career so when i started my career i was also very confused because uh, uh, at the very beginning i had uh, uh, no knowledge like how can i create a complete roadmap that will help me to boost my career and after so many successful attempt after trying this and that this is my learning so i want to share these five secrets with you so that you can boost your id career uh, way way faster and can achieve your uh, dream job so before starting the video i just want to talk about myself well i'm arif i do have more than uh, nine years of experience in cloud computing and cyber security i hold multiple certification in uh, aws azure google cloud and also i have ci ssp and ccsp certification well this channel is all about cloud computing cyber security and id career tips so if you are interested in this topic this channel is definitely for you i'm going to upload a tons of videos related to this field so if you are interested please please like and subscribe to my channel so that you can see my upcoming contents so are you ready for the first secret and uh, here we go the first secret is uh, certification is great but experience is the key so when I started my IT uh, career, so my uh, initial thought is like if I have uh, multiple certification in different field, then uh, it would be good enough for me to land uh, my dream job. But uh, when I entered my uh, first job, I then realized, yeah, certification could help you to achieve your uh, first uh, job. But uh, if you really want to progress in your IT career, there is no other alternative than the experience. So what happened? Let me share some. Uh, story from my personal experience so when I uh, started my uh, job hunt in after finishing my graduation so I uh, uh, was uh, trying to understand which particular field is better for me and uh, when I found out cloud, about cloud computing then I started to learn about it and within few months I got uh, AWS solutions architect associate certification I was uh, so much happy and uh, uh, joyful uh, like yes I have achieved something and this is uh, something that going to help me to achieve my dream job or something like that. But when I started to apply for jobs, for every jobs, it's like they are asking for experience. How many years of experience do you have? And as a fresh graduate, this question is very overwhelming. Like, yeah, I finished my studies. Please give me my first chance so that I can uh, get the experience. But, uh, you know, it's uh, there are a lot of uh, experienced guys too that are applying for the same position, same job role. So what I did uh, at that point, so I understood, yeah, certification is uh, helping me to get the job calls. But when I am uh, going through the interview process, they are uh, emphasizing more on uh, the uh, experience. So what I did, I started doing freelancing work. Under freelancing platform, then I started to do some uh, projects, some uh, part-time projects, some uh, fixed rate projects. So from here, I stack up all the experiences. At, a, at one time, I was working like five projects at the same uh, at a time. It was crazy. But guess what? All these uh, long hours, all this extra stress really helped me to uh, learn a, quite a lot and get a lot of experience. And after a few years of this experience, then I felt like, yeah, I have all the experiences. Then I started to apply jobs and I put all the things that I've worked on. So by then, whenever I applied for jobs and I showed all the uh, technologies, all the skills that I have worked on, all the uh, tools I've used, they got really impressed and uh, I could easily crack my job so that means uh, you have to have the certification and also you have to have the technical skills i mean the experience too so for that always focus on both get the certification also the experience it will boost your career like way way faster secret number two is focus on the 
soft skill as much as the technical skill. When I started my career in IT, my initial thought was that if I'm good at my particular field, uh, maybe in uh, coding, in uh, cloud computing or cybersecurity, uh, if I have more and more technical skills and certification, I'm all sorted. But guess what? It was not uh, uh, completely true. It's partially like it helps to uh, get the attention to get the job done. But at some point, if you really want to grow in your career, you also need your soft skills. So let me share some personal history from my uh, experience so when I was working for uh, uh, some IT companies I was focusing on this uh, technical skills but during the uh, meetings I was not uh, sharing enough even though I'm doing all the hard work on the back end but during meeting I was shy I couldn't share my thoughts like if I have any feedback if I if something could be improved whenever they asked me I was just answering in a few uh, words and uh, um, then I realized like yeah it won't help me to grow in my career. So I have to be more open-minded. I have to work on my communication skills. I have to show my leadership skills. And also I need to be a more of a team player. And uh, I uh, try to be more active uh, during the uh, uh, weekly meetings. I uh, started sharing my ideas and guess what? it really helps it really helps you to get noticed and when you are getting noticed and when your manager or see that you are putting all the effort you are really focusing on the thing that really matters and you have uh, some very uh, powerful insights that gonna help the company to grow you will get promoted Secret number three, I really wish I knew when I started my IT career nine years ago is that to upgrade your skill set that take changes really fast. We are in a field that field just uh, getting new innovations every day and night and if we don't learn the new stuff guess what after a few years if we uh, try to get uh, apply for new jobs or even in our current job they will demand some new technology uh, integration and guess what if we don't have the skill set then we'll feel left behind and uh, the thing is that maybe after the work you feel like yeah i'm really exhausted i need a break that's all fine but uh, all i'm asking you to is spend at least like 30 minutes a day and if you do it every day continuously basis after a year you will be amazed like how much information you have graphs uh, graphs how much uh, uh, new skills you have added uh, in your uh, uh, portfolio so the thing is like as it is innovating so fast um, maybe in future uh, the there will be new technology emerging and uh, maybe your current job role that you're working on is not uh, relevant anymore so maybe you can face a layoff and if you don't have those uh, new technologies you are not well prepared for the current job market you will have to have a very hard time so be ready guys always try to learn something new and the best way to motivate yourselves to learn new stuff is uh, get certification because whenever you are enrolling yourself for a certification you have to follow a proper roadmap you have to go through a complete uh, guideline and you have to make a routine and uh, it is also motivation like yeah i'm working for something meaningful and at the very end you're gonna get a very nice certification which gonna enhance your skill set and also it will um, uh, add a lot of uh, value to your uh, portfolio to your CV. Secret number four is uh, networking is your secret uh, weapon. So at the very beginning of my IT career, I was mostly focused on the skill sets, but uh, I uh, was not paying that much of attention uh, in networking. I was completely wrong because uh, if uh, I focus more on the networking then I could have known that uh, which particular uh, roadmap I need to follow. For an example, if you add more and more people related to, to your uh, technology field under LinkedIn from there, you can review their profile. You can see what kind of roadmap they have used to uh, be more of a industry leader in this particular field. You know exactly what certification worked for them, what uh, technologies they are focusing on, what skill sets they, they do have. So now you don't have to the uh, fail and try a thing you know exactly what works and you can just uh, start focusing on that it's gonna save a lot of time Beside that, uh, if you join some uh, local events, some uh, local community related to your uh, specific IT field, it will help you to make uh, some really cool friends with whom you can share your uh, career goals. Uh, um, the, some senior uh, a senior uh, uh, person from that particular field can also guide you and act like a mentor. 
or if you want to uh, join that uh, that particular job field then they can help you to uh, get some leads so it's always good to uh, focus on networking and uh, the thing is that once uh, you have a solid networking your IT career gonna boom really really fast the fifth and the last secret that I want to share with you is never be afraid to take a risk in IT career so the, what I meant is that uh, you have to take risk in your career. You have to make some really bold decision. I can share some of uh, stories from my personal experience. Well, uh, when I started my freelancing career, so I was fresh graduate. I had some experience, some certification, but still it, I uh, didn't have all the knowledge that's required uh, to uh, do some job really well. So whenever I see some uh, jobs under uh, the job posting, maybe 50% of the job I am pretty sure how to do, but other 50% and other 50% I have to figure it out. I have to test, I need to uh, learn, then I need to implement. So I anyway applied for those jobs and uh, uh, I landed few of those uh, contract jobs and guess what? It really helped me to push myself. I spent a long hour, I spent a lot of time to learn about it and then uh, finally I could able to do it. So at the very end here I am earning the money beside that I have now a new skill set I have learned something very valuable so if I didn't take the risk then I wouldn't have the money and also not the skill set so that's why risk is important that comes to the freelancing sector and also let's talk about the job sector sometimes what happens is that when we get a job we get really comfortable things are really good 9 to 5 we are having a good uh, life we are comfortable with the money but after a few years there is nothing new to learn after two or three years most of the IT jobs what happens is for the role you are all maxed out you have learned everything that is required so my friend this is the time to move on now we have to seek for now new challenges because comfort is the worst enemy for your IT career growth so you have to find a new job you have to uh, look for it you have to find something that's challenge you and when you get the new job is here you have to learn something some new skill set some new uh, thing you have to work on and guess what it will help you to enhance your skill set and also it because of uh, taking the risk because many times what happens like when you are uh, changing your job you are going to a different uh, job uh, you can ask for a really good hike sometimes it's like uh, almost uh, 30 to 50 percent hike you can get when you were uh, changing your jobs congratulations guys for reaching this far of today's video in this video i have uh, shared five secrets that I really wish I knew when I started my career nine years ago. All these uh, secrets, all these tips are coming from my personal experience. I really want you to grow in your IT career. I want you to do great. So that's the whole uh, motivation behind this channel. So uh, the goal is to create a community where everybody gonna help each other to be, be better IT professional. Thank you so much guys for watching my videos. It means a lot to me. If you guys have any question or any doubt, please let me know in this comments section and i'm gonna reply in a very short period of time if you found this video helpful please please like and subscribe to my channel so that you can see my upcoming contents well that's all for today have a great and wonderful day